Melchora Aquino. Melchora Aquino was 84 years old when she became involved with the Philippine Revolution. She largely contributed to the Katipunan and was nicknamed the mother of the Katipunan. Andres Bonifacio, the leader of the Katipunan, consulted her several times for his large decision making for the organization. During the 1896 Philippine Revolution, Tandang Sara operated a store which became a refuge for the sick and wounded revolutionaries, providing them with medical support, a safe refuge, and a motherly care. She supported the Katipuners at the risk of her own life. Melchora Aquino, also known as Tan Lang Sora, was born on January 6, 1812. Her parents, Juan Aquino and Valentina de Aquino, were peasants residing in Pasong Tamo, Loocan. When Melchora Aquino became an adult, she married Fulgencio Ramos. Ramos was a cabeza de barangay. He is a leader or chief of a barangay. Together, they had six kids, Juan, Simon, Epifania, Saturnina, Romoto, and Juana. She was later widowed and left to take care of her six children. When the revolution broke out in 1896, Machora Aquino, at the age of 84, became a supporter of the Katipunan, providing them with rice and cattle for food. She also nursed Katipuneros who were wanted in the battle. She was arrested and jailed by the Spanish authorities on August 29, 1896. The injured man admired Melchora Aquino, one known as Tandang Sora, for her bravery. Even in her old age, she was fiercely proud of her country and protective of its people. Her courage is something that characterize her and I am glad that she is recognized today as a national hero.